Hey folks, this is Vagrant the Wolf Knight, and welcome back to Elden Ring. In the last video, we made more progress through Mount Gelmir after hitting a bit of a wall <laughs> of sorts, and uh, in the uh, Hero's Grave, and now we're exploring this little cave we found called the Volcano Cave. And that's about all I've got for you. Monkey people! Oh yeah, I upgraded my weapon. I wonder how much of a difference that's making. You can never really tell, because the enemies you hit, you'd have to hit the same enemy, you know, because enemies have different resistances. Do I want to go down there? I want to go down here. I will go down everywhere! Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay. I, I get the message. <laughs> there comes a time when you need a lantern. This is one of those times. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa! Were you like pretending to be a rock or something? Because I did not see that little dude at all. God, that thing's terrifying looking. Look at it. Oh, hello. You brought friends. It's nice that they all work together, you know. It's wholesome. I can more of one of them bloody die, though. I can't get hit on anyone here. How are you attacking faster than me? <laughs> bloody Nora. Got absolutely shredded by those guys. My god. Alright, we'll have to be a little bit more careful going forward, I think. It's because I just started the video. It doesn't matter that I'm recording this immediately after the last video. That that counts for nothing. Shut up. Oh, there's the boss. Okay, then. Uh, right, well, I guess we're going the other way. Gotta explore every direction before we take on the boss. The caves like these don't tend to be very big. I wasn't expecting much. As well as I um, attempted to put it at the end of the last video. But then you never know, sometimes they go on for a billion years. And honestly, this one's still good because we've not been over here yet. How did I get over there? Ah! Very cool. Oh! Oh no, this cave is tiny. Okay. So where am I? What's down here? Little dude! Oh, sweet. Do you think I don't see you? <laughs> I didn't see you, to be fair. <laughs> See, if you didn't take the time to make your stupid little roar, <laughs> you might have been okay. Okay, well, we've got two key items. Coil shield, sweet. And... Oh, leaf. Bleh. Let's have a little look at that shield. Like I said, we're not really using shields, but that's not there. Okay, it's rubbish. <laughs> I don't understand. It's really bad. Uh, it's super light, though. Oh, it causes poison buildup. Wait, on me? <laughs> or when I block with it? Or how does that work? Interesting. Right, boss time, I suppose. I'm gonna heal up, I may as well, I think. Six flasks should, in theory, oh, I'm not two-handed, whoops. Six flasks should be plenty, in theory? I feel like I haven't leveled up, and I didn't level up once in the last video, although I did, some oh, hello. Good time, Frank. Oh, it's another one. Can I really kill you? You a different Debbie Queen. <laughs> What's that? Char cannon? Yeah, she wasn't worth much.
<laughs> Bloodstain, pathetic. <laughs> Bloodstain, seek skill. <laughs> Yeah, so I suspect nobody really had a problem with her. <laughs> I like that. Literally just berating other players who died. This sounds mean, but that kind of half-friendly, half-get-good style is kind of what makes these games these games, multiplayer-wise. Okay, so now we can head back. Finally go get this grace of sight, sight of grace, <laughs> and uh, hopefully find ourselves the map fragment as well. Then on deeper into the mountain, we are definitely heading towards the, you can see the manor over there on the left. There's a jump spot there, which is interesting. It's also a ladder. I think we'll be using the jump spot. But first, we're going to level up. <laughs> I'm gonna check out this weapon I just got. This this cannon. Is that what it is? Wow, it is. It's it's a ballista. <laughs> Needs 34 strength, unsurprisingly. That's pretty cool. Might keep that instead of the bow. Although I suspect it doesn't have great range. Oh, I have to level up, obviously, Daisy. Four damage for that level, that's really nice. Although we got new scaling, that'll be why. We're still getting 44-ish for Vigor, which is still worth it. I might actually level up twice. I need about 7,000 runes to do so. What are you worth? Five. Should be enough. Or it might be like 200 short, I'm not sure. Nice. I think this is what I'm doing for now, just Vigor and Dex up to 40. In equal measure. Keep my health high, keep my damage high. Um, strength does not need to go as high. As I mentioned in the past, because I'm two-handing, I get 1.5 times strength. So really, strength... Like, if I've got 30 strength, I should have 45 dexterity, in theory. I think that's how it works. Um, we'll probably get these 40 endurance up to 30. I think that's the, the first plan. Cool. Let's have a little poke around here first. Butterflies. Oh. Oh. Nathan Butterfly. Nice. Hi ho silver. Away! <laughs> Bloody Nora. Oh, amazing. Oh, not again! Not again! <laughs> but I hate it so much. Ow! Never think I don't hate you. <laughs> Falling Star Beast. You're my worst enemy. Oh my god, I still do no damage. I was hoping, well, at least, oh my god, I get knocked off every time. This is going to be brutal, actually. I was thinking, oh well, I've upgraded my weapon, you know, at the very least. I've done that. Look how much damage I did. I can't, I can't even get away. I am not killing this now. Bloody, I'm really glad I leveled up. This is vicious. One more. Yep. Okay, so I got some good damage in that. I think in part, moving too far away is kind of bait. Do this three times. One more. Okay, I got tons of damage in that. I say tons. It's a freaking truck. 
doesn't take any damage. Like, how the hell do I dodge that? Unironically, how do I dodge that? Because I was at full speed. Do I have to be further away? Yeah. Seems harsh. Doing a big charge. One more. Come on, buddy. really just do no damage. Then now he's got a phase two. What? Whoa! Okay, this fight is mad. Absolutely mad. He takes no damage. He hits. He's got like a near one hit kill. Jesus. Okay. I. I. I don't have any advice. Horse fight. That's not helpful. Like the. Okay, none of that's helpful. I was hoping, like, oh, maybe there's a. Maybe, maybe something. First of all, what can I actually put? Huh, cool. I only need to use a stone to make that. I've got 147 of them. I want to, like, make it bleed or something, you know? Or poison it, maybe? Might make a fetid pot. I know, I like, I, I just know this fight's gonna kick my ass a little bit. So I think we're gonna use a flesh, we're gonna use a pot. Try and get a bit more damage in. Maybe a grease? What do I think would be good against him? He's made out of stone. So I just put magic grease on because I've got tons of the bloody things. Okay. I've sucked up to the nines now. Huh. I miss. No. If I die now, my god. Unfortunately, the pot isn't doing enough. Like, it's building a poison, but I need to build a way more poison. Look at my sword, though. It looks awesome. I'm definitely doing way more damage. Right. Okay, just gonna do more damage. Doesn't mean I can play like an idiot. I mean, it does a little bit. <laughs> That's not that much more damage. It's more. Right, I'm hitting for 307. Keep that in mind. So we'll have to do a comparison. I hate that attack so from like the bottom of my heart. Oh, I'm also using the. Come on! I'm also using the fetid thing, but. Fuck off! My god. Madness. Alright. Okay, never mind. I take back what I said about the magic damage. It's adding, it added 17. <laughs> I can kill it if I just play. It's, it's that beam I'm worried about. For fairly obvious reasons. At least the fetid lasts for a while. I never want to get too far from him. That's a danger. No, 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 don't run in, don't run in. Not yet, not yet. Now. Okay. I, 
think for the beam, I just need to run towards him. Try and get behind him, basically. Up! No, 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 no. Up. Is that the big beam? Yes, I can just go here. If anything, it's a good opportunity to actually. Crap. Wait, what's that? Fa oh, come on, man! I hate that attack so much. I really feel useless against it. I'm nearly there as well, but I'm running out of health. Okay, this is good. Attacks that I know are good. Big beam, scary big beam. You get some stamina back. Oh, whoa, the targeting on that was nuts. He doesn't do the third one, does he? Oh, he does. That was, I know I didn't die like a billion times or anything, but that was, that was one of the hardest fights in the game. Unironically, that, I, I, that was the most I've had to work and concentrate in quite a long time. That was, that was pretty brutal to experience. That was, that was hard work. Mount Gelmia has really, uh, upped the ante, shall we say. Where, what's that weapon I just got? Colossal weapon, Falling Star Beast Jaw. Unfortunately, it seems to be an intellect weapon. It looks awesome. <laughs> like, I'd be all over that. Gee, that was, that was tough, yeah. That was, that was tough. I wouldn't, I wouldn't wish that <laughs> on anyone. <laughs> oh. I will admit, I kind of thought this was the right way to go. So I'm a little confused now. Maybe it is. I'm so surprised how tough he was. And <laughs> I'm down to a bloody marionette. That was fun though. You can tell when something's hot because I'll shut up basically. <laughs> Fetter Pot was uh, essentially useless. The grease was essentially useless as well. But I mean, I think if nothing else, that's just because he's not weak to grease. And it makes sense, he's a magic user, right? He's doing all those spells. Why would he be weak to magic, I suppose, is the idea. I just I, I only use the the magic grease because it's one I had the most of. So <laughs> I 
saw you coming and you still got me. Come here. Dead butterfly, dead butterfly, what could be what? Better than a dead butterfly. Butterfly crime scene. Butterfly crime scene. How many seeds I've got actually? Oh, I've got four, sweet. Come here, you. What was this last time? I don't even remember. Oh, he shoots me. We've done this before. It does work. Come here! Come here! <laughs> I will get it. I will. Come here. Whatever you are, come hither. Oh, fuck, got it. <laughs> the hardest, the real hardest boss in the game, right here. <laughs> Sad. It's gonna come along here, right? I'm gonna just wait. And I'm confused. Ah! This is actually so annoying. <laughs> Hey! Bloody Dora. <laughs> right. It's the manor, I suppose. I'm a little concerned. Things have definitely got a lot harder lately. Um, between the boss we just killed and the... Uh, the soldiers thing. Oh, hey. It's like the, the beast guy. Oh, no, it's just a giant. Just a giant. That's all it is. It's just a giant. I need to kill the marionettes first. Not necessarily that one. God damn it, run! Where's my horse? Pretty sure I burned through an extra flask there. Bait him into doing the madness. And then go hit him in the face. And the legs, I suppose. Good old bleed effect. <sighs> I mad the snake sense. It always looked fiery, you know. We definitely associate it with a location like this. Let's have a little poke and prod around the sides, just in case. And then we're going inside. Oh, hello. It's a suspicious looking wall. <laughs> you never know. It'd be a bit weird if it's on the outside of the, the manor though. I'm sure whoever lives here is lovely people. 
based on how lovingly wholesome their home looks. Not at all looking like they're freaking vampires or something. I'm not scared. You're scared. This is fine. Grey sight. Beloved Grey sight. Okay, spot's gone, gone. <laughs> <laughs> okay. First of all, <laughs> let's rest up. Can't level up, can I? Uh, 37k. I suspect I'm a little tiny bit short. And I'm not sweet. I'm tall. <laughs> Beautiful. I quite a bit, actually. Let's go have a little poke up here first. Okay, I'm no longer going to have a little poke up here first. Let's go talk to those people. I'm sure they're lovely people. So sure they've got nothing suspicious going on at all. I really want your armor. Oh. Aren't you precocious? I am, We yeah. rarely receive visitors to the Volcano Manor without invitation. Fascinating. And not unlike another guest we had long ago. So, tarnished. Have you ever harbored doubts about the burden of grace and the dogmatic ramblings of the fingers? If you have, why not join the Volcano Manor and fight with us, rise with us against the Erd Tree? Well, that is unfortunate. Now, Time for you to leave, I should think. Let this intersection of our paths be the last. Why have I changed my mind? What's this? Have you reconsidered? Oh, I don't know. Of rising with us. Yeah, let's just see what happens. The Erd Tree. I don't have to commit. Very well. Your decision is most welcome. Now you belong to the Volcano Manor family. Okay. The drawing room lies down the hall. Make yourself comfortable. Okay. See? Do you want to talk? The drawing room is used no. the key I hand. <laughs> okay, I'll go to the drawing room. It's down the hall. Didn't think it'd be the first door I opened, but hey ho. I wonder if that's got repercussions for me. That's weird. Nail! You can't use your weapon in that room. I had to just walk into the wall. Why do I suspect these people are up to no good? <laughs> okay. Okay, I'm a little disconcerted about how many paths there are already. This place is a little confusing. There's a lot of poison. Even I could tell that was fake. <laughs> Nomadic Warriors Cookbook and a Depraved Perfumer Carmon. Can I open this? Okay, well, I mean, the game's already very much told me that. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is a place of hidden doors, illusion doors, illusory doors, whatever you want to call them. So if I see something suspicious, I'm going to smack it. Yeah, that one's not suspicious. If it's got like a lantern on it, you know, you can be pretty sure it's safe. 
Um, right, let's go down path one of 500. <laughs> I guess. I'm really worried that I've done oh, no, a lot of blood here. This guy's everywhere at the moment. That's cool. Not really for me, but cool in general. Cool things are cool. Okay, rather suspicious. I always assume that if we get an item like that, there's a reason, right? Like, like, why do I have a fireproof dried liver? Maybe something's gonna cast fire at me fairly soon. Where are we now? So that's the entrance. Wait, I didn't even get, oh, I didn't get the map fragment, feels like. Prison Town Church. I'm very, I'm finding myself very disconcerted by this whole experience. <laughs> oh, you weren't kidding, Jesus. Okay, um, hmm. I'm gonna go back to the other one, temporarily. Just because I know there are lots and lots of paths. So this one I know leads outside and leads to that grace point. Now we can explore the other paths and hopefully make sure we get everything, you know? My temptation to eventually try to kill these two is uh, pretty overwhelming, mainly because I want that armor set. That is a very cool armor set. Okay, let's go back to the start and work through these paths a little bit more methodically. Oh, Patches? Were you there last time? Am I blind? Well, you joined the manor, huh? Oh, I had to join the manor I first. Believe it. Didn't think you had it in you. Oh, he was talking oh, about this as well, wasn't he? We're on the same side now. We'll do good work together. Okay, do you sell oh, things? Of course. We can do business if you like. Patches Emporium at the Volcano Manor. Especially for you. Just look at Margaret's shackle. I don't think he seems to sell anything new. Unfortunately, it's the same old stuff. Are you surprised that I belong to the Volcano Manor? I always hated the gibberish about Lost Grace and the laughable Two Fingers. I thought I could lend a hand in unmasking the charade. Not to mention, Tanith has always made me curious. I guess her master must really be something, because she's pretty damn smug about it. Even after announcing her blasphemous ambitions, she still stands proud. I've never seen a woman quite like her. Stingy little beggar. Try to find it in your... You know what? All right, all right, Patches. Like... No, no. I'll buy something. Just so you shut up. <laughs> What's the cheapest thing you sell? All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy a glass shard. Cheers for that. Just in case. Just in case that's somehow relevant. Right, let's go back. I don't think there's no, there's nothing else in here. So there's a pathway off to the right. And then there's oh maybe there's not. Nope, okay, it's not a pathway to the right. So the oh there's that pathway. No, I went down there, but I I went straight into the drawing room. So let's not go into the drawing room, let's just explore. There we're on. Someone please. Kill him. That horrendous serpent. Frito Rikard. Just random people everywhere. Who are you two? Right, I'm just gonna take your stuff first. Letter from Volcano Manor. Recusant finger. Okay, let's let's have a look at the letter. Original request from Volcano Manor disclosing the name of a tarnished to be hunted, Old Knight Istvan. He can be found in Limgrave.
You. What Hi. in heaven's name are you doing here? The Volcano Manor is a pit of recusants who spit at grace and hunt our own kind. I hope you understand the weight of my words. Well, why are you here? Well, as long as you understand what you're saying. I thought you were tarnished bred by virtue. Perhaps playing that part led you to your doubts, I wonder. But know that the path you walk is blasphemy and leads only to a miserable death. Before you consider hunting any of your own kind, think on that. This blasphemous before you can. Okay. Hello again. Brave oh, hey. tarnished. Do you remember me? I am Raya. We spoke once in Lyurnia. I am pleased that we meet again here at the Volcano Manor under Lady Tanith's guidance. May you tread the path of valor. Brave tarnished under Lady Tanith. The thing is, I never would have met this guy, who's now having a pop at me. Why, first of all, why is he here? <laughs> but I never would have met him if I didn't get the key, right? Now he's saying, he has a fellow tarnished, he's got such a cool hat. He does not want me to go and hunt the guy down. And I don't necessarily want to go hunt my other tarnished. I'm, I'm not sure I buy into what the Volcano Manu is doing necessarily, you know? I quite like the Erd tree and the two fingers. They've always been good to me, so I think I will continue to trust them. Weird that I can't use my weapon in any of these rooms. Okay. My god. <laughs> this reminds me of um, the manor in Nano Londo. Was it Nano Londo? Oh, hi. Hmm. You're tarnished. Yeah. Here to put the demigods to the sword. Then please, kill the great serpent. The one that devoured Praetor Reichard. I left the serpent slaying spear in the Lord's chamber. Worthy tarnished. Brandish the spear and run him through. The great serpent. That unspeakable monstrosity. Pray to Rikard's ambitions, though blasphemous. Marked him a worthy sovereign, but they were reduced to gluttonous depravity once he gave himself to the serpent. Whatever that thing is, it is no longer Praetor Rikard. Someone must kill him to spare him and his ambitions from further dishonor. Where it is the run it. Oh. <sighs> okay, <laughs> this place is intense. There's a lot going on. I kind of don't trust these two at all. I mean, they live in a volcano manor, for God's sake. <laughs> I mean... Let's just clear the place out and we'll see what goes on. I feel that guy, the guy talking about hunting, because I, I, like, I was actually going to do it. This I got the letter, obviously. And I hadn't really considered not doing it until he... He wants... Yeah, they want me to go kill... Maybe I can go talk to him, though. Maybe I don't have to kill him. I might try that. Why is there blood in here? Ah, oh, so close! Whoa! Whoa, that's why there's blood in here! No, no, no! 
Oh my god. He might die easy, but I tell you what, I can see why people die to him. I got his weapon! Oh, cool. Let's see what it is. Where is it? There it is. Yeah, strength and dex is something we could use. Have to upgrade it, obviously, but it's a, it's a possibility. I'm not going to write that one off at all. No horse ahead. Sad. <laughs> okay, well... I guess the way I went was very much the right way then, right? There's nowhere else to go, as far as I can tell. So, we're gonna heal up. Level up, maybe? Not even close, really. And, uh... Prison Town Church, I suppose. That weapon's awesome. <laughs> I'm very tempted. We'll have to level it up, obviously. That's the, that is the problem. You have to level it up quite a lot, right? I'd have to level it up to many, many levels. To find out if it's worth it in the first place. I do think that's a slight problem with the design. Gonna walk the other direction, I think. I think this is the wrong way, so we need to go this way first, anyway. Uh. Uh. <laughs> All right, let's go fight that thing. I don't, I don't know how to. I don't know how to describe it. Really, it's a thing. Definitely a thing. It's a snake. Man serpent! Oh my god. <laughs> I love it already. <laughs> it's man serpent. Oh, can I go up there? I can. Or am I meant to? I don't know. It's pretty cool. They've got this whole, like, town built into their, uh, side of the manor. Which obviously is how it often would be in reality as well. Hey! Alright. This is what, church town? Let's go exploring, I guess. <laughs> Turn the corner! He just lobs this bloody bob in my face. A lovely lad. Oh. I was gonna say these aren't that bad, as I remember. Oh no! Ah! Ah! Don't kill me. That's well that was nuts. Say I played with fire there would be the understatement of the century. Hmm. Here yeah. glowing. The scarabs on my nearby.
It's quite a convoluted little place, actually. I guess I'm going to stick to the ground floor and then we'll come back and we'll do a rooftop run as well to make sure we've done the whole place. Don't really know what to do about those guys, if I'm honest. Stop it! Alright, 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 alright. Rooftop first. Although I don't know how to get up there anyway. Oh, over there. Okay, I see it. I see it. I'm just, I, I don't know, I feel nervous. I, a little, I'm just a little, little on edge. Oh, crap. Oh, I have to kill that thing again. Oh, maybe I'll just ignore it. I need my soul, do I need my souls back? It's not that many. Maybe I'll just trust that I don't die. I didn't mean to go off the edge there, in case you were wondering. I never made that clear, that was not on purpose. It wasn't like, oh, maybe I can survive this. No, it was. Don't with threat, guys. It was stupidity, <laughs> nothing else. Man serpent! Looks like a weasel. Am I crazy? my corpse. Oh, they're up there. Sweet. Clear this area out a little bit. Man serpent. And jumping is awesome. <laughs> I need to jump more often. It's a very um, convoluted little area. In a good way, like, but it means I need to be very careful that I don't miss stuff. I forgot that. My souls were at the top. <laughs> Uh, okay, can we get them from here? Yeah, probably can, yeah. Let's try to wrap around. Uh, I'm gonna have to go around, aren't I? Yeah. Uh, hmm. Hmm. <laughs> oh, there it is. Okay, we're gonna try to drop down on that scarab. Man, I love level design like this. This is, this is top class stuff. It just makes me happy. Alright, cool. Not interested. Not killing the whirly bird thing again. No, thank you. Hard pass. You're just a pain in the ass, sir. I don't know what to tell you. Right, got my souls back. Feeling good. I haven't been down there. I haven't really done the ground floor other than that bit there. I just want to make sure these rooftops have been explored. Make sure I'm not missing out on anything. Done that, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that, done that. I think I've done the roof pretty well. There's an item over there. There's a grey set over there. Hmm. Oh. Hmm. Probably, um. Hmm. How do I get up there? Ah, along there, right? And then down, yeah, okay. Uh, we'll figure it out, we'll figure it out. I've got an idea. Up here, yeah, along there. Did 
this way. I don't think I came down here. Uh, is this what I wanted to do? Where's that item that I just saw? So is it up? Is it up there? I just saw something. I swear I saw something nice and shiny, and now I want it, and I'm sad that I don't have it. Go away! <laughs> Maybe get it from here. All right, I'm gonna go down, but we're not gonna go down this way because I want that thing to leave me alone. I don't even know where that item was anymore, unironically. It's there somewhere, taunting me. I think it's up there. Uh, right, how do we get down here without dying? The game always tempts me. Oh, can't mount up. I was going to say, maybe I can double jump up there. Oh, that definitely looks like a path. Oh, it is a path. Interesting. To get down there. Ah! <laughs> you cheeky little bastard. Wait, how do I get there, though? I have to drop off that roof. Okay. Add that to the list of things we need to do in this bloody area. This is convoluted little village. I really like it. The design is... Really good. I don't like you though. What even are you? I took a big risk there, not um <gasps> oh, healing. Oh bloody no, excuse me. Oh Crikers. Can I jump on this? No. Great omen killer cleaver. Nice. Nice. I just, I love my weapon so much. It's very hard for me to think about giving it up. And it's mainly because of the weapon art. And also obviously because we put so much into upgrading it. Now we can upgrade another weapon. It's like I've got smithing stones up to tier 6. I think I've got two somber ones. Uh... Okay. Is that a talisman? No. What the hell is that? <laughs> it looks like a talisman. Um, key items. What on earth was that? Not a key. What are these, by the way? Oh, I can make perfume items. Interesting. I never did get the other half of this, either. Oh, what did I just get? <laughs> what on earth is it? I forgot we've got to go with that. Am I going crazy? Maybe. What are you? <laughs> you crafty little thing. I don't even remember what it's called. Urge me something. Okay, uh, how are we doing on time? Yeah, we need to get to that, um, that grace site at some point. There's nothing there, so there's stuff everywhere. I just feel like you have to go up and down and drop from about five different places and... I think that gate's open. We can go this way as well. No, we've been down there. That, right, okay, that's where I wanted to drop down before. On that side over there, so I guess we have to go this way. Okay, I think this is the bottom of the walkway from earlier where the thing is. You know what I'm talking about. <laughs> um, where's that grace site? Is it here? That's a lot of blood. I don't see the grace site. Did I make up a grace site? Maybe I did. Because all I see is a humongous blood pile. Pile? How the word we're going to use? Look at that! It's a, it's a griffin snake bird. How oh, is this a reward? Ah! 
Ah, oh, come on. No, 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 don't kill me. Just don't kill me. Just don't kill me. God damn it! <laughs> Man, I should just run and got the item. I hate the I hate these things so much. That attack if it grabs you just hits you like a truck. Oh, I lost so much. Ah, oh, that's agonizing. Where is that grey site? I'm not crazy. I saw a grey site. Didn't I? Maybe I am crazy. Okay, well, whilst we're back up here, I want to try to find that bit from before. It's there. So how would I drop down there? Well, I mean, how do I drop down there without dying? <laughs> I think that's where I was before. Over there? I don't know. This seems risky. This seems like something to do when you don't have 32,000 souls <laughs> sitting somewhere else. I think I could survive that, but I don't know for sure. So I don't really want to risk it. So let's go, let's just carry on going, we'll get our souls back, and then we'll go from there. And we'll find a great site, and then we can always teleport back here, i just got to remember. Because I know there's been a few things that I've always said, well, we'll come back later, and I never really do. Sometimes I do. What the actual fuck was that? What was that? Oh, I am, uh... Okay, so I need to get up there, but I don't know how to get up there. Do I know how to get up there? That's where the item was, anyway, that was on about before. I think I should be able to- Ha! Oh! Oh! My left hand's cramping up. <laughs> oh no, the pain! I right, good. You're out of the picture. Okay, I think we go up here. Take this guy out. Someone has been lobbing poison at me for about half an hour now. And I'm poisoned. Fantastic. For a really, really, really long time. Okay, so I think I had to... Right, it's, 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 it is from here. And then it's... It's... It's here, I think. Oh, I don't bloody know. Ah, it's that! It's that! I found it! Finally! <laughs> Made it! All I know is pain. All I know is pain. <laughs> My entire life is agony. Alright, souls... Item. Run away from scary thing. Surely it's not going to get me up here anyway. Surely it's not going to get me up here anyway. <laughs> right? Yeah, it's just going to stand that ominously. <gasps> nice! Wait, no. Is that the one I use or not? No, it's not. Isn't that the one that makes them better? Oh, greatly raises max HP. Interesting. Actually, funnily enough, it gives me less HP <laughs> than this one, Radigans. Which is not totally surprising. Okay, how much HP does it give me? About 100? I'd say that's probably worth more than the jumping attack one at this point. It's worth, it's basically worth about two levels in Vigor, I suppose. Which I wouldn't say is particularly fantastic. But it doesn't have a downside. Run! Please tell me you can't come outside. Well, I'm gone anyway. Just trying to find the grey site, folks. 
Just trying to find a grave site. There's a lot of that. That's cool. Okay. Man, poison Rex. It really does. Especially this poison, because it's so long-lasting. <laughs> it's finally gone, but I've had to heal through it twice already. Still got six flasks, we'll be fine. Okay, so we can drop down there. Maybe a little thing over there. Mm. I don't think there's actually much here. I think we're just dropping down. I don't... A blood clot. They're quite rare, actually. We've only had a couple of those. <sighs> Shimmy, I can open this door. Get some bloody light in here, you know? Get those windows open, it's so dark. They're, tra they're trapped, it's like they've been locked in on these weird things. Oh. They're trying to grab at me because they can't move. Man, this place is creepy. <laughs> um, Alright, you can go down there. Nothing over here. I really need the lantern, don't I? No, get off me! What are you? Ah! Vampire! Vampire slug! Thing. That's the call it. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna pop this. Where's my lantern? I do it for you guys more than anything, but it's probably pretty necessary in here. I mean, I need a grey site. This is nuts. This reminds me of the um, the academy again, where it just felt like I was going and going and going, and there's a billion things trying to kill me in the meantime. Do they have tentacle mouths? I think so. This feels like this is the culmination of what those guys look like, you know? The guys who were chained down that I was mentioning before. Like after after like a long period of time they turn into these things. It's clearly like a it's like a jail of some description anyway. No! So much damage. Why is everything in this place trying to grab me? Grab attacks are ah! It's just snake boys, fine. <laughs> They're kind of ridiculous looking. It, it, it reminds me very much of like a Dark Souls type enemy. It's something you would see in Dark Souls quite a lot. Enemies often skirted between terrifying and just utterly ridiculous. Hello, beautiful. Alright, I'll, I'll be back in a sec. I just want to have a little pop around. Okay, I think popping around is more of a pop around than I expected it to be. Okay! Well. That was an intense episode. Let's rest up. We can level up again as well. Oh, and, and, yeah, can't do this right, you never know, <laughs> right, uh, I can alter some, okay, I open this, wait, is that what I'm wearing, I think so, I wish it didn't lower the stats, it makes it lighter, which is the point, but it'd be nice if you could do visual changes without that, that gets rid of the cloak, so is that, 
That probably does as well. Yeah, it does. It's interesting they get these altered versions. I like that. Okay, we're going to end it there. Um, oh, where are we? What's this place called? Guest Hall. Doesn't feel like it. Bloody hell. So there's a couple more paths around here we can explore as well. And then... Oh, I need to stretch. Jesus. Yeah, I'm not sure how I feel about Volcano Manor in terms of its leaders and what I've joined. I kind of want to kill them. If nothing else, so the other Tarnished feel safe. You know, if these guys are hunting down Tarnished, hunting down my brethren, maybe I want to take them out of the picture. But I've never killed, in, in this playthrough at least, well, of this game, I've never killed, like, a non-violent NPC because I thought it would help. Other than the guy at uh, Godric. Who apparently you have to kill before you kill Godric. I'm saying this about 20 episodes too late, but apparently that's what you have to do. Hmm. We'll end it there. Thanks for joining me. Cheers, much love as always. Bye-bye.